Hey everyone, so another video about Babylon 5 and the reboot. Um, in my last one I mentioned about if you have Twitter you should follow JMS because there's a lot of information to be gathered and it seems that since that video went up he's really dulled it up a notch or I've just been paying more attention. Anyway, the great maker himself actually read, replied to and retweeted one of my tweets. So um, I'm actually really surprised but really happy that I had a tweet that was kind of worthy um, of his uh, attention and um, I said to a friend of mine you know it just came down to a, to trying to cut through everyone else who's trying to tweet at him and uh, to come through with something that maybe was a little bit unique and uh, would grab his attention so um, I basically just asked you know how did the reboot come about what was what was involved did he approach the CW or was it the other way around and I assumed it was the other way around and uh, he confirmed that he basically said yep they um, think that Babylon 5 is the best sci-fi show that's ever been produced and I uh, wanted to know if he'd be on board with a, a new version. Next minute his phone his phone rang. Um, so that was great. I was just uh, more pleased than anything to sort of have that out there and uh, a lot of other people have had these conversations with with him as well and um, yeah so definitely get on there follow him um, and I've just got a few other tweets that have come up that have been posted in the Babylon 5 Facebook group that I kind of missed but they have some um, key details also. Uh, the first one, the first one here that I'll go through um, again, is just covers how he'll approach the new show. Perhaps um, he says so. Some core B5 key elements will be familiar to the original fans. Some will be totally new. Some blend and blur together. So you may hear a name and think, "Oh, I remember where that's going." Right before he yanks the rug out. So remember that JMS is a process nut and process is always in motion. Then there was, um, there was a number of other tweets that went out which covered in a lot more detail uh, about uh, this, uh, which sort of covered on that similar note. Uh, there's a few to go through, so excuse me whilst I'm kind of reading from my phone as I go through these, but they're quite important. <laughs> Someone tweeted to JMS and said, you know, just wondering, will you be keeping the old timelines? Like we go exploring, we meet them in Bari, it all goes bad. You have to be the Mimbari War, the Battle of the Line, in the lead up to that story. And so JMS goes into a fairly long response here. He goes, teeing off this to emphasize a point uh, from a prior tweet, and for what it's worth for those curious about the new show's direction, this is it. He's a process nut. He likes seeing how we get from here to there, how a war starts, how we get into it, what happens, how we get out of it, and what happens after. It's about the journey. Yes, you know Londo and Jakar end up strangling each other, that's a data point. It's the journey that gives it meaning. And that's why he's, in, he's terminally in, uninterested in questions of what would have happened if, or what happened after. Because they're just data points, not journeys, they're not stories. If he said they all get turned into hamsters, then it's, oh okay, and we go on our way because the information comes without any emotional resonance. And he's absolutely not interested in that. There's no value to him as a storyteller in marshalling the forces of hundreds of crew members, actors, studio execs, marketing, and tens of millions of dollars on a path that will take us to the same data points that everyone already knows and expects. The trick is to include recognizable elements and use them in new ways. So there are surprises, so nobody has to do homework before seeing the show, so it's fresh and new, but also familiar and intimate and respectful to the fans. It's a tough dance to dance, but he thinks he has it figured out. So, whenever you're wondering where he's going to go with something, always go back to that opening phrase, he's a process nut. He's all about a journey that will take people places they haven't been or seen before, a journey they didn't expect and didn't know they needed or wanted to go on until they got there, especially in light of any prior expectations. Okay, let's kick it up a notch. If you always remember that he's about that journey, you can often see where he's going next. So, cool stuff, um, and that's straight from his own keyboard, um, so it's just getting more and more exciting. Um, if anyone has any doubts about how this show is going to go with JMS on board, um, I don't think you should. <laughs> I'm excited, I know a lot of other people are as well, and um, that's just going to be a really interesting few months as we get into the lead up towards this new Babylon 5. 
so that's it really just going through those tweets um and yeah see you in the next one i guess cheers